Hi everyone. Today, I'm going to show you the most powerful CMD command repairs to boost your Windows performance. We are going to be using the command prompt, CMD. Command prompt is an essential tool for diagnosing and resolving common issues in Windows. In this video, we'll dive into different CMD commands and methods to effectively tackle Windows errors. If you're dealing with problems like Windows updates, error notifications, or other system glitches, CMD has the resources to help you troubleshoot and fix them. Follow along to learn how to utilize CMD for repairing Windows errors and ensuring your system operates seamlessly. If you have a moment, I'd love for you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the notification bell icon to stay updated on all my latest videos. To quickly access CMD, go to your Windows search icon and type CMD and run it as administrator. The first CMD command for today is CheckDisk or CHKDSK. CheckDisk is a helpful system utility found in Windows that scans your hard drive for any file system errors. Running the CHKDSK command can help you find and fix these errors, keeping your system data neatly organized. To run this command, simply type CHKDSK in the command prompt and hit enter. This command will check for issues on the default drive and file system without fixing or repairing. To fix it, we have two commands, the chkdsk slash f, that is, f for fix, and chkdsk slash r, that is, r for repair. The command chkdsk slash f repairs any problems related to the file system and directory, ensuring that everything is consistent between them, whilst the command chkdsk slash r finds and attempts to repair corrupted portions of your hard drive. It automatically runs chkdsk slash F as part of this process to correct errors on your disk as well. If you're trying to decide between using chkdsk slash F or slash R, you'll discover that slash R, that is, repair command provides a lot more detailed information. Go ahead and type the chkdsk slash R in the command prompt and hit enter. It says would you like to schedule this volume to be checked the next time the system restarts? Type Y for yes and hit enter to proceed or end for no to stop. Restart your PC for the Windows to run the check disk for you. Moving on to the next two commands that come together as one, yet each holds significant importance. These are the SFC command, known as System File Checker, and the DISM command, which stands for Deployment Image Servicing and Management. The System File Checker, SFC, and Deployment Image Servicing and Management, DISM, are tools that can help you troubleshoot and fix issues with the operating system. To use them, simply type SFC slash scan now in the command prompt and hit enter. This process will scan for any damaged system files and will automatically try to fix them. It says it found corrupt files and successfully repaired them. If the repair doesn't succeed, don't stress. We're not finished yet. We still need to run the next command. So let it do its thing. Regardless of whether it finds and fixes errors or not, make sure to restart your computer before moving on to the next step. After restarting, you can run the DISM space slash online space slash cleanup image space slash restore health. This command will also verify and fix various system files, and it often repairs files that the SFC command needs to address. Once it completes, you should ideally see a message indicating that no corruption was found. However, if it does detect issues, it should resolve them. After this process is done, make sure to restart your computer and run SFC slash scan now again, as the DISM command may have repaired files that will enable the system file checker to fix any remaining issues. After restarting, type SFC slash scan now again in the command prompt and hit enter. It will scan for any damaged system files and will automatically try to fix them again. Make sure you have seen this message. 
Windows Resource Protection did not find any integrity violations before you continue to the next step. I have a bonus tip to share. And guess what? We won't be using CMD for this one. If you are having problems where your system keeps crashing, you might want to check if your RAM is working properly. We are going to be using the Windows Memory Diagnostic Tool to check the functionality of the RAM. The Windows Memory Diagnostic Tool is a very useful utility for troubleshooting when the computer begins running slowly, freezes, hangs, displays a blue screen, or reboots on its own. It can help detect problems with applications installed on the computer, whether caused by memory errors or not. This utility tests the random access memory, RAM, on the computer and reports any errors that are found. To open it, head over to the search icon on your Windows taskbar and enter MDSCHED. Once the Windows Memory Diagnostics tool shows up, go ahead and open it. You'll have two choices, restart now and check for problems, or check for problems the next time I start my computer. Pick one and then restart your device. That's all for today, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to click on the thumbnail icon right here to check out the 17 handy keyboard shortcuts that can enhance your Windows experience. If you found these CMD commands helpful, please give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more great content.